I just wanted to show you what it looks like at this stage and this is where we put it uh, it gets basically no sunlight at all uh, after we bring it in because we just don't have any good windows to put it in and it's kind of hard to see in here so I'm going to take this outside so we can see it a little bit better here we are outside and as you can see this thing it's still trying to produce flowers and it's trying to grow. It's got some new leaves just coming out of the ground and the reason it's trying to grow is because uh, I'm going to throw my wife under the bus but she's been watering it. And at this point what I'm going to do is make sure we don't water it anymore and it'll just uh, basically stop trying to produce new growth and these older leaves will just shrivel up and get to where they're just hanging over the edge like this one and then they'll just dry up and uh, completely go away and then what we'll end up with is uh, just basically bare dirt um, at this point we've had it in the kitchen area and it gets uh, just uh, a little bit of indoor lighting but uh, no sunlight and from this point on I'm going to put it in a dark room in a cool area and it won't get any more watering and that's when it will begin its dormancy and all of these little shoes here coming out of the ground are coming out of little tubers that's what produces the leaves I have a video that uh, shows how to repot it if you ever want to repot yours and I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. Now we'll come back once this has had more time to go dormant. After a couple of months the plant looks dead and I'm sure some people have probably thrown their plants away at this point thinking they were dead. You can see that the dirt is so dry it's pulled away from the sides of the pot and what I'm pointing at now are the rhizomes or or bulbs whatever you want to call them that's uh, the part that will regrow if conditions become favorable after I shoot this little clip uh, this plant will go back in a dark room that's uh, fairly cool and it's going to stay there until the weather warms up in the spring and I'm ready to put this thing outside Once we're past freezing weather, it's time to take it outside and inspect it and see if it needs to be repotted. At this point, not only is it a good time to repot the plant, but it's a good time to separate a few bulbs for planting in other locations if you want to. All you have to do is dump out the soil and separate all the bulbs or rhizomes out and set them aside until you get ready to repot and relocate. I noticed that some of these were starting to sprout just from the warmer temperatures. When it comes to planting the bulbs back in the new soil you don't have to position them a certain way. They'll grow even if you stick them upside down from the way they were. So I think planting them on their side is a pretty good option. And now it's just a matter of watering these and in no time they'll start to sprout and they'll look pretty good in just a few weeks. I found that when the weather gets really hot like in July and August my plant appreciates some afternoon shade. Here we are on June 3rd and you sure wouldn't be able to tell that this pot was pretty bare looking not that long ago. It's all filled out and when I repotted it I had so many tubers in there that I just went ahead and moved some to another location. I'll just show you where I put them. Stuck some in here with these petunias and they're doing well too. If 
if you've never tried letting your oxalis or purple shamrocks go dormant, dormant uh, you might give it a try and see how it works out for you. Or if you have one that's really looking bad and it's during the winter and you don't have a good light source, uh, just let it go dormant instead of stressing over it. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.